I don't like it really, so stop talking about it. I didn't say it once, but since you brought it up, I'm going to average heaps more than it. Yeah, at that price? Two. At that price, two. At that price. At that price. At that price. No one. No one. Good. That is going to win. Too late. Whoa! Too hot. Too hot. They keep on asking me, is this Tom DeCone going to be the ruckman? It's not. Not yet. Yeah, not even a, he's not the best rock when it comes. I want to see Gibneys and Chessers. I want to see these. You're not going to be seeing much of Chessers. Oh, 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 Francis. I just got Francis. I just got Francis. I just got Francis. I just got Francis. He doesn't care. Tom Mitchell does not Just some time. Oh, the ball. Tom Mitchell kicks the winning goal and he's got 140. Vice captain right now. Welcome back to Supercoach Masters. My name is George. Um, and alongside me is Matty. And my name is Ziz. And alongside is Matty, George. you don't have to copy me. I gotta mirror Be you. Be yourself. I gotta mirror you being Be in a bucket. Unapologetically you. Like I'm being unapologetically me right now. So we didn't talk about Supercoach. Are we here to, <laughs> you know that Simpsons episode? <laughs> like the saving the marriage uh, um Saving the marriage class or eat Reason. the orange class. <laughs> Just eat the damn oranges. I thought you were going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, if I came here to see a man eating his lunch, got his own <laughs> tune in. So I'm fucking hungry. Anyway, super coach! George, what did you score? Uh, two, three... Three, six. Oh, oh, Joe, that scored two, three, three, three. Jordi outscores me by three points. Again, another week to the draws. <laughs> another <laughs> week to the draws, but what a week that's been. Jaws, what are we doing right now? Like, pay attention. I know you're looking at your food. What is it? Kale, avocado, and... Spring water tuna. Only you're... the best. Why don't I just, like, do a big massive turd on that? It will just... <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the difference? Look uh, at probably that. the nutrients. Look at that. Look, look at... Probably the nutrients. Oh, Jordy's protein. You don't get guns like this with eating Maccas, do you, champ? Do you? Stop yelling at me. KFC. I want to talk about some super coach set of bounces and stuff, but <laughs> I'm going to let you do the kickstart Hall of Fame. Can you see? You can't see, can you? Can yeah, I can see that. All right, you do the kickstunt while I eat. The, the kickstunt Hall of Fame, Jordy the Wahab, still on 20 donations. Oh, no. one. He's still got the crown. Get him a polo top. He's he's asked for one a few times, George. He's put in that much coffees. No. We can afford him to get him another one. Um, Super coach Baller, a nine, 12 donations, coming to second with the I gun. I love him. Um, turn it up, Dave. I Kicking some goals as a magnet. Uh, we've got Dean Fields coming in. We've got no new ones, it looks like. Dean Fields doing things at 4th Whiskey DX. It's tough out there, guys. Is the X Factor right there. Benny T still missing. Don't know where he's been. <laughs> uh, speaking of missing, I spoke to our boy, Costanzo. Oh, heck, Costa? No, he's not watching. Oh, fuck him then. He's, fuck you, Costa. He's, he's deleted his app because of the... He's not playing Supercoach anymore. Why? What happened? He just, he didn't like the Liam Jones and the Stuarts. And oh, that's fair the, enough. And, and, I almost put up the Liam Jones and the fucking Stuart here. on the field. Um, and then we got Glenn Fear itself coming in at seventh round. A hot Pritchard loves that going up in price. Blake B's just getting all the pigeons. Jamie's still running cold with one donation. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Long's got a tag. And Batman sit a brick wall. And I think John Miz is out for six to eight <laughs> weeks with a... Uh, Wrist injury that doesn't get his wrist into the wallet to give us some more donations, John Miz. Um, <laughs> poor, poor form, John. All right. But all that aside, we appreciate everyone that's uh, given us those donations. And usually this is not my segment to talk, but Jordy is still stuffing his face. Shut the and fuck it's, up, mate. It smells just as shit as it looks, George. Um, what else do you want to talk about? Um, that's pretty much it. Those guys are pretty cool. I love uh, chatting to the Wahab and Dave Turn It Up. Yeah. And the SE Baller, of course, and all the other blokes on FB. But uh, yeah, for everyone else, we don't use FB, so don't message the group there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't use it. Yes, we do. Jordan just doesn't want to write back. I can't write back. Too many people. So I always try and go, are these people on the Coffee Hall of Fame? And then I'll just I'll reply to them because there's too much to reply to otherwise. Okay. Get to the guys damn football. All right, first game. First game, George. We've got Saints versus Power. Now, by the way, where rank is slowly, slowly climbing with them. Because I had Stewart on the field round one when he got a 13. Oh. And I had Jack Steele when he got injured. And I had Liam Jones when he got sure, five. I'm pretty sure everyone had some fucked up. I had more. Scores. And unlike <laughs> Costa, back in the running, uh, top 10K-ish. So... Uh, Good on, your, good on your jaws yeah, and yeah. a bit of tooting your you, own horn there. You too, you, you know, you're not, you know, as good. Oh, well, you, 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 you. <laughs> not as good as... You're only up by like 80 points on me in total. Take it, baby. All right. Take it, just idiot. Uh, now, Port go. and uh, the same as Maddie. Oh, here um, we go. Use some kickouts because Sinclair got back to his best seven kickouts. Wow. wow. That's what we want from Sinclair. Um, six to Burden and only two to Malira, which is the only relevant kind of kickouts stuff that you want to read. Um, 
about. Matt Seeds, even D Williams got on the board with one. Well, I've got on you, D Williams. You would have been a good pick if he wasn't sub last week. He but, still um, might be. I think there's not many options. Right? Yeah. There's a bit of a cash crisis going on. And for CBAs, the most. Jack Steele had 23. Back to his best. Another huge uptake in CBAs for Jack Steele. Playing North Melbourne this week will be a highly sorted 128 player. 128 break even. So even if he gets 150, he's still going to be the under 150. But you want that 150. You want that 150. I'm talking about the price. He's uh, 538 at the moment. So even if he does go a bit more berserk than what his projected break even is, he'll still be a 5.5. He'll still be affordable, that's for sure. Still be affordable. So keep him on the watch list if there's other holes you need to fill. Um, Jules, keep going. Now, Matty, Matty, Matty Gazebs, you've got Brad Crouch at 20, Marshall at 20, Horn Francis at 20, the highest for Port Adelaide, at 20 for Tickle, uh, also 19 for Sebros, 19 to Butters, 18 to Rosie, 12 to Bogue with his highest of the Jesus. year, uh, which was about 44%, 9 to Hunter Clark, 9 to Ollie Wines only, 7 to Sinclair in the Guts, 7 to Finlayson, 4 to Mitch Owens, 3 to Cordy, 4, 3 to Gresham, and three, two, Will Drew. Well, there you go, George. So we'll start with the winners. Port Adelaide getting over the Saints by a goal and a point. Um, well, Horn Francis's clearances was 11 clearances and 18 contested, and he still could only manage 83 with 25 touches. He played great, man. He, just, he played great. Was bad. The eight clangers. We love him doing clangers, but my goodness. Um, Boak, yeah, Jordy mentioned Boak, the high scorer for Port Adelaide. Not really relevant. I don't think anyone's going to be getting him. It's a price, Rosé. Good jump in CBAs, though. We continue yes, to get a good roll. He did. Um, Butters and Rosé got the same points in 96. Um, Houston done one of his better numbers this year. Who cares, though? Ollie Wine still continuing with that really stinky, smelly, shitty form that he's in. He's getting a 70 with 24 touches. I don't know what's gotten on. I think he... Does he care? Is he old? I think he's just, he's getting a lot of limited CBAs and he's getting limited time on ground. Look, 65% CBAs, that's like less than a Wilmot. Wow, 65% on ground. That is pretty low. Maybe those big elephant tree trunk legs. Are and just he's still not, got 26 touches. So he's still, getting his normal CBAs. He'll be getting over 30, a little bit more CBAs. He reminds it could be. He always thing. used to be. He always used to be a shoe in for a nice multi, but now you just can't trust him. You can't trust um, him. Because he's getting no time on ground. Rookie watch here. Let's have a look there. Oh, only Brian, Brian Teagle. We've got no kicks, eight handballs, 18 touches. He got a 60 coming back off a 85 the week before. I don't think I can put him in the team at that price. Jules, what do you think? Mate, there's, no. there's, there's very limited things we can and can't put in the team. There's also Oli Lord. Oli Lord, yes, Oli Lord, who just crashed down to earth with Dixon coming back into the team. Got five touches, no goals. Um, pretty crap, 35. I will not be getting him. Um, and that's all that's relevant for the Port Adelaide um, St. Kilda Saints. Now, me and Geordie did the right thing and said, hey, let's put Vice Captain on that role, Marshall. If you're a fan of our Facebook page, we put a post up telling you that Marshall scores. And when we found it, as soon as we put it out, we recommended everyone jump on the BC. Me and Maddie had you're welcome. the BC. And um, we reaped the benefits of, well, he's the highest person in my team. Uh, that scored, you know, I didn't have Petrarca so or anything there's no, like that. There's so. no, yeah, no regrets there, 159. Really uh, boosted that overall points for me. Mm -hmm. And Jody, Jack Steele, that was really good. I didn't want him to do too good. Wow. Um, he did get scaled up a little bit more. Thought he was only getting 118. Got 126. 28 touches. 11 tackles. 15 contesteds. He's back on board. He's still got that 56 in his name, but his break even is 126 or 128, whatever it is. You can go against North Melbourne. Um, and as you saw, what those Petrarcas and Olivers and all the rest of the boys did to North wow. Melbourne, they went berserk. So Sinclair doing the things that he did. Jordy just read out a lot of kickouts. Um, he got thirty three touches, which is very handy. I want more super coach. Than I don't that, know right? why Mason Wood is still with eighteen touches. He still gets hundred and fours. He's still doing the things that he's doing. Um, mm. Hunter Clark first a hundred um, for the week. I don't think a lot of people have. What about Gresham, Matty? Another hundred. He's Gre averaging like ninety eight in the last two weeks, and he's going to get that fourteen or something out of his. Oh, well, he we could be one to watch, champ. How much is Gresham? 400 and... Ah, it's too much for Gresham. Right. Um, Mitch Owen still continuing with his blistering form, 91. He looks really good. He's such a good player. He's so good. And Wilkie. Kick two got Wilkie bounced back from his shitty score. Well, if you kept him dock or did you get rid of him? Um, well, if he didn't, he's got to break even 170 next week. So. Wow, it's a huge... Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Um, Malira, 84, crap. Stocker, he still didn't break that 76. He's... He went down. A three-quarter trial. I thought, oh, Stocker, he's gone fire. He was at 75 or 70-something at half at three-quarter time. Mm. 
Uh, he didn't touch it when it mattered, and that's what happens. There's some inflating points that go to other players, such as Steele and definitely Marshall. Well, look at these CBAs, mate. Because obviously, um, Jack Steele had a big uptake by about 43%. Oh, yeah. Where did it come out of? It came out of Hunter Clark. It came out of Jack Sinclair. And they both scored over 100. it came out of uh, Brad Crouch as well. So they were the big losers when Jack Steele's uh, CBAs went up. And none of them really scored besides Brad Crouch. Well, Brad Crouch's score got affected, and his touches normally gets about 28+. plus. He only got 24 touches with mm. 75 Supercoach. Um, and that's on that one. Besides, I oh, love that Philippou just crashing down to crap. Hopefully, you lost all those owners' money. Um, only reason why I'm saying that because I never started him. Um, but of course. two kicks and 10 handballs get you a 20. Like, you're not even averaging, like, two points for every touch in that. It's like, yeah, that's pretty sad. Um, he was a bit uh, sloppy. He him. was sloppy, all right. And that's pretty much that's my That's pretty much it, Matt Seeb. Uh, Zach Bartis, though, he had his highest CBAs of the season with 70%, that is. Um, and also, Horn Francis had his highest with 74%. So, a couple of things to watch. Um, well, Zach Bartis, he actually got 27 touches. A lot of them, 18 were handballs. 14 of them mm. were contested. So, he could be on one to watch. But... Um, I'm happy just watching Rose keep yeah. doing what he's doing. Not Butters, not yet. Well, George, what do you reckon? He's not on the watch list for me just yeah, yet. Yeah, I've got enough forwards. Um, yeah. I think, uh, so, Boak went up by 44%. So, there's a lot of people that had season high percentages, but it mostly came out of Ollie Wines. Uh, last week, he was <laughs> averaging 50 and 52% CBAs. He went down to 33 this week. Um, so it, it was, yeah. a, it was it's a big bench to warm with those big thighs of his. So he really he kept he kept uh, oh, yeah. two, he kept two people two players seats warm with those okay. fat, with that fat ass. Will um, Drew had fifty five percent CBAs last week, but he only had eleven this week, so he went down by forty four percent. So that's what's happening in the Port Adelaide engine room, Matty. What's the next game? Oh, the next game, George, is the Lions versus the Dockers, which was another good game to watch. Um, just because it was the only game until. Now, did you keep Wilmot? I did not. Oh, you got rid of him? I dropped Wilmot. Did you? I got him. You still got him or what? Yeah, I got him. You were saying all week last week, he's out, he's shit, he's gone, he's finished, he's done, and what? And he's still in your team? Okay. i tell you what. Tell me why. Phillips. Right, he has to go right. Oh, well, yeah. He's also a sub risk, he could have lost more money. Yeah. Okay, uh, McKenzie. Cam uh, McKenzie. You still got that idiot. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, yeah. these do have to go. Yeah. So you and have the to third keep... one. Mm. I don't know who that was. I can't remember. Help me out. Um, say some chickens. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> give me. Give me. Give me. Who else are the shitty ones out there? So we can't say the C U N T word anymore. Anyway. Okay. All right. I didn't say it. Yeah. You, we both said it. I didn't say it. What did I say? You did. Did I? Oh, <laughs> I'll make sure we beep it. Anyway. No, I don't want to beep it. No, leave it. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see how do you get up your previous trades and SC. So you had Wilmot McKenna. Did you upgrade anyone? Who'd you get in? Ah, uh, Cornelia. <laughs> you don't even. Yeah, anyway, all right. Well, wait, 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 wait. I got to think. Mackenzie Phillips. Yeah, and then one more. Oh, I think of someone that done really shit. Liam Jones? No, he kept That's him. Still got him. <laughs> still got Liam Jones. I don't know, Jones. Someone uh, else. Cohen. Yes. Nah. Good on you, Matty. Cohen. So, Cohen. You, so you got three unplain rookies um, Cohen, in Cohen yeah. McKenzie, and you brought in Canelio. Yep. Chinchots. Yep. And good old mm. Sheamus. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's yeah, it. It's def- good. Definitely yeah, an improvement. Um, anyway, let's get back to the game. The Lions smashed the shit out of the Frio Dappers. Um, George, let's just talk about the scores. You can go to the CBAs and I can have a rest. All right, I'll go CBAs. You know who laughs? Lockie Newell has uh, 90 <laughs> CBAs, uh, percentage that is. Is it for you, Engo? Um, Engo loves it. Now, <laughs> he loves Oscar McInerney had 83%. Uh, Josh Dunkley had 77%. That's nice. And Will Ashcroft had his high, um, highest for the season with 53%. And he got 100. Good boy. Mm, I keep the goal of the year. Did you see that goal? I did. He was so great. Did you see Walter's goal? Whose? Walter's goal? Walter, no. No, that was a pretty good. Who's goal. Walter? Walter's, yeah. Oh, Walter's from Freya. No. Who's Walter? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were And McLeod had 27%. Darcy Ford had 23%. Maddie, that's what's happening in the Lions engine room. Now, what's happening in the Freo engine room, Maddie? I'll tell you, because big, sexy Darcy had his high CBA, well, one of the high CBAs with 90% in the ruck. Sarong had his lowest with 70%, still had a good game. 
Andy Brayshaw had his second loss of the season with 67% in the midfield or center bounces. Will Brody had his season high with 70%. Uh, Jago O'Meara, I think he's made that team worse. I think he's been a bad because he's made the midfield look slower and slower. He's not, I don't think they needed him. 47% CBAs for him. Uh, he went down a little bit. And Matthew Johnson had his highs with 33%. Uh, Luke Jackson, 10%. Schwakowski and Erasmus, 7% uh, each. Get, get rid of those kick-ins real quick, George. Matty, why? why? Okay. All right, cool. All right, so Freo Jockers, we'll start with those idiots. Hayden Young, um, that's why, because Hayden Young got 19 kicks. And I'll be surprised how much of those kicks he actually got, George. Well, Hayden Young had five kickouts. Only five, and he still got 19 kicks. Because Luke Ryan had another five, which is actually his loss, and he's still scoring a good. When are we going to acknowledge... If Luke Ryan is a primo he's defender. A pre, he's a primo champ. So n- now you think he's a primo defender? Mate, it's round what, seven? Who cares? He's a primo defender, Jules. Is he going to last the whole year? Is he going to last the whole year? Is he going to play the whole Mate, year? he's already one third of the year he's been averaging 100 and whatever it was. Okay, he's so had he's one, sh- he's the only shittest number he's had is a 93. Oh, he's due for an injury. So is English. That's, I don't see that happening. Well, English just scored his lowest number for the season. Yeah, but he's due for an injury. I don't care what he scored. Okay, well, he's probably is due for an injury. But the difference between English and Ryan is yes. that Ryan is probably like thir- over 30. English is in his 20s. Well, Luke Ryan isn't really doing any strain on himself. He's just literally in the back line getting uncontested touches. Well, that never stopped Luke Ryan from being injured before, so. Well, <laughs> maybe it did, maybe it didn't, but... Um, who knows, champ? Yes, to answer your direct question, yes, I do think he is a defender primo. And When's the last time you played a full season? Can oh. you bring up some Luke Ryan? Well, if your internet works well, which it's not, I can tell you. But if not, we'll it's just a very, get, very we'll condescending just, tone there. Well, we, you clicked on it. I, I, I clicked didn't know on what it. I was clicking on. Yeah, you knew what you were clicking on. You're clicking on Luke Ryan, and I can't get him up. Uh, anyway, so wrong. Well, Darcy got 39 hitouts to Oscar McInerney's 30. That's a bit alarming. Why? Because Oscar McInerney is shit. He's still a good ruckman. Nah. No. I mean, he's a good tap ruckman. You can run. Well, look, you'll be you'll be happy with 140 from Darcy. Like, yeah, just looking at what he'd done ever since that shit number of the 52. We called it from that day that mm. he's the next five six games he will average over 120, and he's done that comfortably. Um, Sarong, he looked like he was going to go berserk at halftime. I think he was on 70. He only got what 20 or 30 points in he's the second half. Pick. Still a good pick. Cox is in in and under, in and out. He's 105. Uh-huh. Brayshaw still can't he's crack 100. Cox is in and out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, Angus Brayshaw still can't crack 100 um, for like, what, four or five weeks? Did he hit 100 last week? No. No. He definitely he, did he not. He definitely did it. Uh, Mate, look at those stats. 30 touches and two goals. He's just not a relevant play. Like, if you think your primo midfielder gets 30 touches and two goals, that's is it, 120. Is this a third week you're going to say, Matt, is it time to move him on? No, no. It's time to bring him in. <laughs> it's time to bring him in. So for the last three, I've been saying move him on. It's like, do we have to? You might as well just keep him because he can do Well, now you definitely have to keep him. Right? <laughs> now you definitely got to keep him three weeks later. Well, he got 30 touches and two goals. The only problem is that he wasn't that efficient. He got, oh, I mean, 73% pretty efficiency, but pretty sad. seven claims. Um, nothing really more besides Matt Johnson, who did a tackle on Zorko's face. Two weeks. Two weeks, he's gone. Mm-hmm. Um, Sam Stewart, if he was on the bubble, anyone brought him in. <laughs> Stop laughing at everyone that trying to do good and super. this is the point of me and super coach. Listen here, I face. like misery. Listen here. Misery. People watching oh. are, you know, the Supercoach Master community. I know. Only last week I was saying, look, maybe we should talk about how we can bounce back and give our viewers the energy. But sometimes you're just going to laugh at those people that bring in Sam Shirts right, and play on the field. We didn't tell you to bring in Sam Shirts. No, we advised against it. So if you got him in. <laughs> All right. George? Sure. Hey, I haven't finished this. It felt like shit over there. All right. <laughs> back to Brisbane Lions. Uh, lucky Neil. To... Bounce back after that crappy 70. Um, reckon he's got three votes, maybe. Uh, what's that? 35 touch Um <laughs> 24 contestants, 13 clearances. Wow, 24 contestant touches. That's some kind of record for sure. I don't think so. 24 contested. That's pretty big it's number. That's a big number. That, that's that's more than people, that's more than midfielders get in a game and just touches itself. But 24 contested touches from like a New York doing the things. Um, Dunkley. That is, that's why he got such a good score. That's why, yeah. Well, it could have been better. Um, 109 from Dunkley. Good on you. I wish Ashcroft did the things that we want him to do. Stay in there for another couple of weeks. 28 touches and two goals. Cash. That's some good numbers. That's some great numbers. 
Um, Zorko out injury, Daniel Rich out for injury. What this means for our boy Connor McKenna, you got a 70. George, can you read the kick ins? I would love for to. For Brisbane, because you already did the Frio. Thank you, Manny. Um, the kick-ins for Brisbane. So, Rich had three, and he was injured towards the end of that game. So, that mm. kind of makes me think that McKenna back in the running. Coleman had two. Starcevich had one. McKenna only had the one. Well, there was Maddie. only seven points, and McKenna, with Rich, he'll be out for a while. Let's have a look at his injury. What does it say to us? It says that a rough calf tweak, and it's iced up. Old, Could be a two old to people three. and calves. Yeah, old people and yeah. That's what I'm expecting Luke Ryan to do sometime soon. Yeah. Probably this week. But Daniel Rich's muscles and the legs in the... He's got, like, muscles on top of muscles on those legs. Ryan's just like a... I don't think he's going to get injured, champ. Um, there's not a lot of muscle in there. Who else? Darcy Wilmot, Lazzy Jordy, so got 15... No, I'm going to look at Luke Ryan's history because there's no way this old piece of shit keeps it up. No, no. Okay, so we've got sure. Right. i got to draw it. i got this, champ. So Luke Ryan... Jordy wants to be convinced that we don't get him because he's an injury-prone idiot, but let's have a look. He played a full season last year, George. Oh, my God. So, and he played 19 games the year before. How old is he? He hasn't he, even played that many he years. Played, he played the full season in the COVID year, too. So, he hasn't really... Me- oh, where's this injury-prone stats know. coming from? George, you're can an you, idiot. Can you go up and tell me how old he is? And don't call me an idiot, Manny. I don't appreciate that. All right, that, fine. Okay? Jordy, you are so silly. No, all right. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Um, for 1996. So, uh, what is he, champ? 30-something? Not even. 20... Mate. 28. I'm convinced. He's ready. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I thought he was injury prone. He's not an we injury prone. We both thought he was injury prone. Um, well, clearly not. He just hasn't averaged over... The last time he aver- aver- averaged 100 was in the COVID year, but that doesn't count. He averaged 107. Since then, 99. Okay. So his, his average has declined in the last three years. I'm expecting... 121.2 is not a sustainable average. He has to come down. He's a superstar. Fremantle, Fremantle hasn't been that shit for a long time. Um, no. I'm, I'm not kidding. All right, maybe. Well, think about a chance. We have Sicilies and Sinclairs that are cheaper, that are younger, and are better. Are, are they averaging? A, oh, clearly not better, James. Average 122. All right, well. That, that's cap, That's vice-captain material. Yeah, vice, go get Ryan, fucking Luke Ryan and vice-captain him. Don't do that. I'm joking. Jordy's joking too. He didn't mean what he said. Jordy, tell him he didn't mean it. I was just repeating what you said in the second. Tell him he didn't mean it. I didn't fucking mean it. <laughs> okay, good. Um, <laughs> uh, Wilmot again, 63. Good to hold for another week. I got rid of him though. Um, that's it for this game, Jules. Anything else you like? Should you bring in Brayshaw? <laughs> it's 500k. Not now. Oh, I won't bring him in. It's a good price. I am. The people like get a 30,000 extra, get a steal. Okay. Get no. a 40,000 extra, get a Sinclair. But stat wise, He's had a better stat game than This is not dream team. Okay, but the only thing you need to do is hit targets better and he'll be okay. And he hasn't been doing it for seven games. I've got three touches and two goals. That's pretty good against Brisbane, right? Oh, George, I just... Like, he's not I mean, Brayshaw hasn't changed that much from last year to be so shit this year, right? He's lost lost $105,000 and next week's break even is 104. He hasn't got 100 in weeks. He hasn't got 100 in... Four One, two, three, four, a month. Five weeks coming. Um, well, he's got Hawthorne. He does have Hawthorne and then Sydney and Geelong and Melbourne. And, oh, well, okay. No, I'm not going to get him. Um, maybe after his buy, but that's even saying a lot too. But no, I don't want him. Not for okay, what's, what's gone different this year for Brayshaw? I mean, his CBA is a similar. Efficiency. So the shit. Okay, the shit. So you okay. reckon a year of preseason training has made him a shitter kick? Well, against Gold Coast, he got 18 touches, which is not his usual, and he got 77. I agree. That's his worst okay. game. He got 26 touches against, and got a 70 against St. Seven Kilda. Seven tackles. Well, George, you know, you said it all... That's from a stat line. I'm yeah. saying his stats are not too bad. Or if he's starting hitting targets or something, I don't know. He's okay, dude. Okay, okay well, look at Bond stats. Bond got 19 or 20 touches, okay. and he gets 123. Because yeah, he's an animal. And okay. he'd have to be stupid not to All right, him. cool. And Brayshaw is not an animal. He he's, he's not an animal, no, but that's why he got the touches. And okay, so right. super, super coach is very fickle as far as stats go. Stats are not reflective. Andrew Brayshaw is 150k cheaper than Bond. I'm trying to do some bargain shopping here. At, at the start, they weren't. At the start, they were only, what, $30,000 difference. So we're not at the start now. I didn't allow okay, anyone to start I'm with just, Brayshaw. I told him to start with Bond. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying. But is that not a good price for him? If he's performing. Yeah, but you don't know if someone was performing beforehand. Like so I three thought, weeks I ago when we I was going to jump on Tom, um, Tom Hawkins. So he wasn't performing then. But now he's performing. But now it's too late to get him. We should have got him three weeks ago. So this is why I'm having the conversation now. So three weeks and Brayshaw gets get to 120s. 
Let him get 120 once first. But why? Then he goes up in price. No, he's, he he's getting the numbers to show that he can. He's 509,000. So if he gets 120 to show that he can do it again, and he, there's just there's just no there's nothing. He does he's not passing the eye test in Supercoach scores. So I get the touches. I know what you're saying. The touches and the tackles they're all there, but. You know, who gives a fuck if you're getting 50 touches and only 90 super coach? It's not good enough. I mean, I, I care. Well, you can care, but you, it's not going to make Bashel's score go higher. Anyway, moving on to the next game. Jeez, you want to read out some CBAs? What is the next game, mate? For the Giants and the Swans, please. Mate. I'm doing this for Ingo only. No, I'm joking. I can't wait to hear these CBAs. I really want to know how much time Goulden got to get that 109. I want to go GWS first. Um, Tom Green had 78% uh, CBAs, which is his lowest of the season. Uh, 78% from Matt Flynn. 83% for Keneally, which was the highest for the Giants. 72% for Josh, Cal- Josh Kelly. Uh, 31%, uh, 31% to Perryman, who went down by about 40%. A Roston, 14%. Maddie Himmelberg, 22%. Uh, Xavier Halloran, 3%. And Toby Green, 19%. Matthew, uh, now Sydney. Yes, please. 81% of CBA is for Ladhams, Luke Parker, and Chad Warner. Uh, James Raybond had 69%. Callum Mills, 47% of CBA is in the midfield, which is his second highest of the year. Would you believe that? Wow, well, don't. Errol Goulden had his lowest... Of the season, he was playing mainly wing, and he had twenty four percent last week. This week, he had seventeen percent. So the role is definitely not there for him, but he was good to score enough points this week to keep us happy. But the role is definitely not like looking like it's there. Let's go to the losers in the Sydney Swans. Um, Chad Warner had a big quarter. He got one hundred twenty three, fourteen contested and a goal. Good for him. Goulden, there you go, one hundred nineteen. 16 plus 11 handballs, 16 kicks and 11 handballs with a goal. Um, did well, he, got, he wasn't in there, but he got six clearances, so maybe he wasn't around the CBA. Oh, he, could, he but, could be around the like, but you know. he's, he's, he's around the, the uh contest in the ball ups around the grounds. Yeah, Luke Parker, I thought, played one of his good games. There's a big point of difference, he's only for 48 for 480,000. Um, what's that, 33 touches and a goal? Good for him. Um, Jake, Lloyd, you, Jake Lloyd, my boy, um, getting 20 kicks, 5 handballs in 106. Should have been. It was on 110, but then obviously Toby Green's goal really made all those Sydney Swan scores go down because they needed to give him about 37 points for that goal. I just made that number up. It's not true, but something he, like that. He, if you look at his score, he should have scored way more. He kicked the winning goal. He got 22 touches and 4 goals, and he kicked the winning goal. 114 yeah. was not enough for not Toby enough. Green. No way near. Fuck, I don't know what Supercoach is fucking doing this. Yeah, Toby Green, he didn't even go on the bench. 96% game time. That was good for him. Mm. Um, back to it's the Sydney Swans. Um, buddy Franklin still won and back the clock. Got three goals too. Um, him, good for him. Um, Heaney, who cares? It's 19 touches. Uh, what did Heaney score? 82. 82. Mm. Yeah. Um, Callum Mills, this was funny. Um, sucked in Anton, you lost against me. Callum Mills got your 80. <laughs> 23 touches. That's so funny. Um, he's going to be cheap in the back line, maybe. George, what do you think? You reckon he might get a bit of a That's all he was playing. If he gets deep. Did well, he? Did he you had, I did. And he had his second highest CBS second in, the, highest. in the midfield, which is still pretty low and in the 40s. Get rid of him, Anton. He's shit. Um, no, no one else there. You go, oh, we really had... rub it into your opposition. It's good. It's good to, it's good to bounce back after, you know, 2008 <laughs> point thrashing from what I scored last week against Jamie. But um, good to see uh, Jamie beat. Uh, Mikey Mikey which is pretty funny um, Mikey's so shit oh poor Mikey he had Radigalia he had Redman and he had a Dawson captain to beat Jamie's 280 points but Redman and Radigalia really stung it up the field didn't he Mikey Jamie was laughing all the way home to victory winning by like 13 points anyway uh, Aaron Francis he's relevant for a rookie if you want to waste some money I don't want to waste any money on him <laughs> I don't want to waste any time talking about him alright Aaron Francis he's not relevant now GWS now this made me happy champ Welcome back, Tom Green. Wow. Wow, 31 touches. 13. 13, 13, 13 tackles. Fucking tackles, Jordy. Oh, um, Jordy traded ready. him out. I kept him. Um, got 118. <laughs> Keneally, I know. Keneally, I bought him. <laughs> Me and Jordy both bought him. I also baby. traded out Steele and Tom Stewart. And, wow. that, and uh, here I am. And then, then they might be back in your team. But, and you traded out Canelio. Mm. You traded in Canelio. You got his shit scores. You traded him back in. No, so you traded him out. Then <laughs> he got some really good scores. And who was you trading this week? 
Canelio. So you've used like six trades to get Canelio back and forth. Well done, Job. That's how I smart. Used, I traded out Canelio for Darcy because I needed a Ruckman at That's that awesome. time, when, yeah, which was a late out. But you didn't need it because Radical Leo, he was getting 88s for the last three weeks. He got 188. He got 188. Two 88s in a row and a 70. Do you want me to preview wrong? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is this, is this time to go for you, champ? Because no, no you, you still got money to make? He's, he's, got, he's, at, he's breaking him 65. I still got Wilmot. <laughs> I still got Wilmot. I mean, I, I won't even get rid of him because I want to make some money. I've got fucking Gibneys and fucking Jones and all the rest. Dick Haynes doing pretty well, 89. Um, but Josh Buckley, oh, Jack Buckley. And every time Another I see 91. Him, every, every I'm time, so angry. How much money do you think he's made? I know he's made over 200k. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh. He's, he's going to keep on going. Who's 91? I just want to see the percentage of teams because that got him. Because his job security, who would have thought? And he's... Oh. He's made $190,000. See, sometimes you just got to be stupid and just fucking pick stupid players for the sake of it. He's in 8% of teams. That's just clever, guys. Good for you. And he's in Dean Fields' team, so good on you, Dino. Good on you, Dino. That's what we like to see, Dean. Uh, Barkley, Josh Kelly, he had a really shit half and then he came back and did a good tackle that got him some big points. Mm. That was a clearance into the inside 50 and that saved his... Uh, Supercoach score to an extent. 88's not his best, but still did okay. I say Cummings looks so bad. Oh, he's not even on the talking point. I wouldn't even yeah. get him as an emergency, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair um, enough. Himmelberg, I don't know what he did. We still don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know where the barely side, he, So barely sided early, then he switched he into did. the He did, he was still on such a low yeah. half-time score. Then he switched into the ruck, still managed in an 88 with 15 touches and a gal. Um, Jordy was talking about Xavier Halloran last week. Uh, he has got a good score, not this week though. Too much money 54. for that. Um, and Ryan Angwin uh, on the bubble this week. He's, looks, he's one of the rookies. If you went early on Chinchotto, he's look, probably I, one of the early I'll ones. I'll tell you this now. He'll probably be dropped for Callan Ward this week. Like he was, uh, that's the reason why he was in, is to Callan Ward's suspension is up. Um, well, if he, if he maintains his spot with Callan Ward. <sighs> good luck. I mean, because Cadman was subbed off and Rouston was subbed on, so maybe they could be. Proposing. Oh, who knows? It's 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 got a sub stinking smell all over it. George. I know, but there's no one else to get. There's no one else. Now let's do some kickings because Isaac Cumming uh, got six of his possessions by kickouts. Four, uh, three by Whitfield, two for Jake Lloyd only, one for Blakey, one for Campbell, and one for Florent, and one for Ash. There wasn't many behinds by the Giants. Giants only kicked five behinds for the entire game, so that would have got. Um, a lot more points for Jake Lloyd, you'd recommend. That's all right. But no, Jake Lloyd, I saw him push up the ground and I love that. So he was doing a lot of intercept marks and good for him. I was happy with that little pick point of difference, but do better, please. Next game, Jules, the Dogs versus the Hawks. Now, Matty. I was so upset at this game. It was so funny. Tell me why you're upset about this game. Because Bont and English don't deserve scores that they get. Like, Bont, how do you get, like, I had Will Day. So Will Day came in for me this week. Daisy. Daisies. Now, when when you get a 30 touches and a goal, 12 contesteds and seven clearances, and then you get Bonts, 19 touches and a point, nine contestants, which is pretty much... So the, you're saying... Well, let me get this straight. You think 30 touches, one goal... And, and 14 contest And 12 contested, seven clearances, versus a... What about Brayshaw? Because he had these exact numbers. As an 19... 19 touches with no goals and three less contested possessions. Bond gets 122. There's different There's different contested possessions. In, this, in my opinion, watching Bond on the field without having any champion data or super coach scores mm-hmm. in front of him, this would have been one of the shittest games he's had in three years, and he still gets 122. He looked real good. Like, he, he looked real <laughs> good. He's, like, he's averaging seven points a touch. It's his 200, it's his 200 game, Matty. Of course he's going to get good and, points. And not only that, he was the highest for the dogs. Like, he was on 14 at, at the second quarter. He just got, like, 70 points for what? For mm. fucking what? For fucking what, indeed. Anyway. Let's do some CBAs. Yeah, Team English got 85%. Um, Bont and Pally, highest of the year. 89% CBAs. Get around him. Uh, Trelaw got 78% CBAs, which was the third highest for the Dogs. 48% only to McRae. 41 to Bailey Smith on his return game. And 44 Second highest for Caleb Daniel in the centre bounce. I hate it. Um, <laughs> you got look at this. Match. Look at Jack McRae. He last pretty much since the start of the year. He had 62% CBAs. Then he's been 41%, 40%, 54, 55, 52. Now back to the 40s in 48%. So he, he still managed really to get low. 96. He got 26 touches, which isn't good enough, which is good for me because sucked in Anton. Um, 
Um, but yeah, George, it's so who was leading at all that? The Bond. The Bond. Eighty nine. The Bond and Troll. Season high. The Bond and Troll. It was coming back next week. Next yeah. week. Yep. Um, and uh, well, they said they were going to see if he could miss another one well, potentially, but no, nothing I've heard. I yet. would have thought McRae would have been blistering in CBAs with Liber out. No, it looks like he. Who, isn't. Can you tell me who took the the reins? Of Bont. Well, because uh, Bailey Smith came back, he came in with 41, and Cleb Daniel had 44. Yeah, but Libertore gets 77s and 80s and highs. Yeah, much... Look, look, if you get 30 from Bailey Smith and 30 from Cleb Daniel, and okay. Bont will go down about 10. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Now, Hawthorne CBA is very interesting with Will Day back in the team. Uh, Connor Nash on fo- uh, was a, on fire. I've got a theory with this. And but, Warple yeah. doing real good. Jai Newcomb had one of his lowest CBAs. He was 88 and 88. He went down to 59% CBAs. Still played a really good game. Uh, Reeves, 85%. Warple went down uh, to 67% CBAs. Connor Nash maintained the 85% CBAs he had this week and had 85% again. And then Will Day came back with 63% CBAs. His last game, for reference, he had 83% CBAs. So there was a bit of a drop off by about 19% CBAs in Will Day. Uh, still played a really nice game. Uh, Josh Ward, bit of a uh, 26% CBAs, and um, that Max Ramston, 15%. Maddie, what's your theory and what are you talking about? I think the Hawks are tanking. Like, they were up again. Listen, listen, listen. Will Day clearly was <sighs> dominating the midfield. He was best on ground up until half time. Hawks were up. Seamus Mitchell, he's a, he's a bulldog. Like, he's tough. He's fit. Why sub him? You know, like then you then you. He's a defender, like no, what? no, no. But he's a, he's a hard grunt player. That's clearly fresh, clearly. So they're, they're tanking by like subbing yeah. Mitchell. No, no. Well, no, no, no. But then they put Will Day in the four line for the second half, and he did nothing. Like he was already on twenty six touches or something like that. Something ridiculous at like half time. Jordy, I'm telling you, they want. Yes, that. it's round fucking seven, and Hawthorne's tanking already. They want Harley Reid. You don't get it. Harley Reid is like number one, and it's equivalent. Harley Reid's here, and then. Pick 11 is equivalent to the pick two. That's how good Harley Reid is. So, so you're thinking like the youngest team in the competition doesn't want to actually try and win games? I don't. Well, up until halftime. It's, it's, it's like, just hear me out. They've, but they've done it. So they've been in front in halftime their last three games. And then they just fade away and die. Because they're a young team. They've run out of petrol. I think Mitchell is putting players where they shouldn't. Oh, like who? So who was in the midfield that shouldn't be? Let me read it. Read them out again. Okay. So we've got... All I know is Will Newcomb? Day. All I know is Will Day wasn't in there. And okay, Newcomb. well, Will Day got sixty three percent CBAs. Yeah, at the first half of the game. Okay. The, the, the next he was. But Connor Nash eighty five percent. He's been playing good. Warple sixty seven percent. Yeah, but Warple and, and then Warple, Warple, Warple barely stays. It. Yeah, but Newcomb, Newcomb drops all of a sudden. Um, but look, all the CBAs are reflecting what happened in the first seven games. Uh, not playing. Not playing scrimshaw is fucking stupid. Um, you know, keeping Tyler Brockman and Ramsden in before, you know, your first round draft picks in McKenzie's. And I just feel like, like, we'd all, okay, then you need to give him a go. He's good. Go, yeah, Joshy. Good debut, good. mate. Well done, Josh. You done like, great. We like you, Josh. But I just think that. And Josh, let me know if, uh, oh, if like Mitchell's you gonna, Like you're going to fucking admit it, Josh Weedle. Like, you know, you know your coach's being's got some shady things up his sleeve. I don't trust Sam Mitchell anyway. It's a piece. Um, anyway, that's my take on that one. But let's get to the super catch points. George Sicily, what a game he's had. He actually was really... Um, he was so good. He had a really average first half, and then his second half was amazing. And he also kicked that goal. Um, he, was, he looked fantastic, and I mm. kind of want to bring him in this week. I think he probably said, I'm not, I'm not doing this tanking stuff. I'm going to be playing the oh, second half. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm probably going to be playing the second half. Fuck you, Sam Mitchell. Um, Ned Reeves, this, like, yeah, he played pretty well. Um, Will Day... Way higher than that. So um, you got the same score as uh, Ang- uh, Ang- Ang- Andrew Brayshaw. And Champ, he's, nowhere, he's nowhere better than like. But Angus Brayshaw sh- should be. They both shit. got thirty touches. They both kicked a goal. I mean, Brayshaw kicked two, but well, yeah, still couldn't break the hundred. Well, well, they both couldn't. Well, Will Day. You can't complain about Will Day's score and then say that Ang- uh, Andrew Brayshaw's score is fair. I'm not complaining about. Andrew. So, he, so he deserved the ninety-seven. Probably he deserved an 97, but I'm just saying stats-wise. If we're talking about stats directly, we're talking about stats. Stats directly? See, like you, I was with Brayshaw? See, see, you... Yeah, exactly. So don't, right. don't control the narrative when I'm talking about Bont's 19 touches. And then you say, oh, that's super coach. They were all just great. But, we, it's we, one of the but best Bont is of- not a 30-touch... 
When is he last time he touched the ball 30 times? Like, you know, he doesn't do that often. We know what Bob does. All right, does. so don't talk about touches and then talk about Bob. Right, talk, the, talk about Will Day, the new Bob, all right? Uh, anyway. Oh, anyway, anyway George, talk. shut up, champ. Well, sad thing for Sam. Did you have Sam Mitchell on the field? <laughs> no. No, me either. Um, emergency. Um, emergencies, yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, Fergus Green come and crush him down with six touches. George, you'll get rid of him if you had him. Yeah, he's I made, think he's he's, he's too late at the moment. His time's up. He's made a good amount of cash. It's yeah. time to go. Ferg, Fergalicious. Fergalicious. He's been a good Fergalicious. Draws, kind of right. When is Warple? Is Warple still getting named? Mate, if he gets 25 touches and a goal, like if he gets me those 80s, I mean, Centerfield is causing a bigger problem. Ooh, yeah. Popper is causing a bigger problem Ooh, than Warple. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would have liked a 100 from him, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. Jaws moving over to the stupidest scoring system in the world. Just get a Bulldogs else. player and stop being so fucking bitter. Yeah. Liam Jones, start from the bottom. Um, Trevor McLean didn't even get a, get a touch. Didn't even put he on the... He came on so... He didn't come... He, he didn't come, come on? No. Yeah, he I was he, thinking. He didn't get a touch at all, so nothing to fix him. Imagine that. You're winning a game and your coach won't even give you a run. <laughs> Liam Jones. <laughs> Liam Jones, uh, time to go. 54. Um, got his break 54. even. 54. Um, did he? <laughs> yeah, he did last week. He got it. Baker, Baker's getting 70s, 69s, making some money. Glad we kept him, Jules. Happy? Yeah, I'd rather have Ed Richards and Bailey Dale getting 80s, respectively. Shit. Um, not good enough. Um, who else? Tim English gets 90. 11 touches I mean, and 30 hit outs. Yeah, um, 11 touches. I mean, better than 140, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, against Reeves, I thought he was due for a bigger game. I think a lot of people had him vice captain as well. Well, Reeves dominated him because he only. So he well, got, he's not a good tap ruckman. So Reeves out tapped him, forty three hit outs to thirty, and out positioned him too. He got fifteen touches versus yeah, Reeves. Reeves beat English comprehensively. I mean, that goal he kicked was good. Yeah. Right then about. we then we got McRae. Jordy was Jordy's eye was on Trelaw. Um, a lot of handballs done by these midfielders, and they still won. Um, so Trelaw got fifteen handballs. McRae got nineteen handballs. McRae is good with the boot, but he only kicked it seven times. Mm-hmm. Um, Bailey Smith, um, Bond, yeah, all, all the players just performed, but. And JJ. Now, JJ has also got a very, very low break even. And uh, that brings me to the kickouts. He had five kickouts for the dogs and looks like he's you, the number one kickout. You just don't know with these with yeah. beverage. Like, Caleb is probably going to take his role and Johannesson's going to be a, a Ford pocket next week. Who like, knows? Um, so, yeah, five kickouts at Johannesson. Uh, four to Hardwick, three to Bailey Dale, three only to the sick dog. Uh, two to Richards, one to Scrimshaw, one to Jyth, and one to Frost. That's enough about the tanking Hawks, Maddie. All right, George, we're going to go to the Melbourne North Melbourne game. Which game? Melbourne and who? Melbourne North. Oh, that was such a hard game to watch, it being was. a non clary It was. Saturday night, Saturday night was pretty tough for me. Um, fuck you, Anton. Uh, had Petrarca. Maddie, had leave a... Anton alone. No, nah, he needs to. He, he needs to know. He needs um, to know. <laughs> I want to get to the CBAs because Todd Goldstein had his loss for the year with 75%. Jai... Simpkin had 94% with LDU out of the team, Matt Zeeps. Ben right. Cunningham had 75%, which is his highest of the year. So it looks like them two were the main ones to pick up the LDU slack. Then Tom Powell came with 34%. I think he went off injured. Uh, Zerha, 28%. And Liam Shields had a season high, 44%. Jesus. And uh, Darcy Tucker, 22 Griffin Lake, 13 Callum Coleman-Jones, 13 uh, Yeah, a bunch of nobodies just filling in the holes there. A feeling in the holes. Do you want to go to the D's? Let's go to the D's because this is incredibly interesting, Matty. I'll show you this one because there is not any bulldog besides Clayton Oliver that had over Melbourne 50... Melbourne Demon. Yeah, yeah. But Melbourne Demons. Yeah. And there's no other demon besides Clayton Oliver that had over 50% CBA. So Clayton Oliver had 75%, which is his lowest of the season. And then it was Brody Grundy with 50%. Petrarca with his lowest of the year, 41%. Uh, Jack Viney with 47% and Tom Sparrow with his highest of the year, 53%. They're trying to play like Collingwood. And Max Gorn with 50%. This is a, such an even spread. Cozzy Pickett had his highest CBAs of the year with 34%. James Jordan had 22%. Could it be the fact that they just smashed them by 90 points and maybe we'll just let the boys run around have, and yeah. they put anyone in? That, that's yeah, a just, very real possibility. I'm, I'm not looking too much into it. Well, based I am, on the stats, I am like, looking yeah. in that Petrarca had 41% only well, and he got his highest score of the year. Well, the well the person, Tom, Tom Sparrow got 53%, which is the highest he's done all year as far as mm-hmm. that sense. And of obviously that fifty three percent, where normally he's about thirty seven, thirty four, thirty six, thirty two, thirty eight percent in the 
Like he got a. I'm bit- thinking, yeah, they're just giving him extra time because they're smashing him all. Is this, you know, they're trying to get him more involved in the midfield rotation? And, and Kaiser Pickett spent a bit more time in the midfield. Before. Absolutely, he, that's why he got 121. He, oh, no, I don't think so. But um, he, what do you mean you don't? You uh, don't think that's why he got 121? No. I why think, did he get 121? He got 121 because he kicked three goals. Oh, okay. He only got 15, 16 touches. Yeah, you only needed to kick that money against North Melbourne when you beat them by about 90 points. Oh, well, look, he was the X factor. Maybe he maybe he beat him at the time that we needed to win. I don't know. It provided some real spark throughout. So with 16 touches, um, I wouldn't say that they're midfield. Uh, do you North. reckon he can do it against Gold Coast again? No, because I don't think he'll get that. I think he will go crashing back down to 0 and 10% CBAs. Um, as what but it doesn't he, matter because he got all his points kicking goals, you said, anyway. Well, that's right. True. So, so he'll probably get another 120. So, by your logic. Well, well, if he if he misses, like you know, we've seen him kick three points in a row, and he got a 16. So um, let's he's too up and down, Jaws. I know where you're going with this. He's not worth it. He's not worth it, guys. Jordy, is he worth it? He. You're an idiot. He's looking good. He's, <laughs> he's an idiot. Over the last two games, he's averaging 70. Okay, and if, and he's. I'm saying if you don't have him, he's going to lose that 16 soon, and he's going to go up in price if he gets another 120. Jordy, I hate you sometimes. <laughs> Kaiser Pickett is dumb. Um, you're dumb. Now, you're dumb. Petrarca, wow, we 167, 35 touches and three goals. That's what you call a person that's staying in the midfield and kicking some goals. Petrarca uh, wasn't staying in the midfield. I oh, know. Well, he got more percentage than he Kaiser got his Pickett. lowest of the year. That's what I'm saying. No, he kicked all those goals. Hopefully, we can three get goals. It's no, yeah, I don't think there's enough percent. For the uh, Oliver, wow, still doing what he's doing. 37 touches, good for him. He was on track for such a huge monster oh, yeah, score at halftime. I uh, t- changed it to the other channel because I didn't want to see Petrarca and Bray and uh, Oliver. R- I was going to say the word, but yeah, I couldn't. Good on you, Matty. Good on you. And, then, and what pissed me off the most, just to top off that game, was that Chandler getting over 100. Um, oh, I was thinking I was going to get a 400 it's percentage it's boost so against Antoine. I but can't believe He's just yeah, 101. Up, another oh, 104. Another three oh goals. Oh my god. Um, the good news is though, Jack Van Roonen gets 33 and stops his money making. That should have happened last week. Yeah, well, <laughs> as he, well. He um he's still cheap. He's still two two. So I, I saw today. I'm like, where's Van Roonen? He got a 33. Why don't people get rid of him? But he hasn't really made a lot of money. He's only two two. So. Um, which is good. Stops the... the John boot. McPhee's pretty much done, but he's made 150k. Yeah, he's ready to get the boot. Um, no one else. Max Gorn. Um, I was thinking about getting Grundy to Gorn in this week. It's the same player. It's <laughs> the same. I actually feel that Max Gorn is like saying, let me just do the first half and you do the second half. I think so. And Grundy performs well in the second half. Yeah, because he gets rough time. Good job, Grundy. Well, let's say, look at that. So Grundy's had oh, 48 what and 50 me in the off, last though? two weeks. What, what pissed me off against Grundy... Grundy had like seven hit outs and about six touches and a goal, but his efficiency was so bad that after all those stats I just read you, like he was on 12. Mm. Like he kicked, 12. A, kicked a goal and had a few touches, and I'm like, oh, this is the shittest game I've ever seen. Um, Jack Zebel scared us a bit, Matty. Oh, Jack Zebel. Yeah, I think that was the moment yeah. that I said, yeah, he better I just let him, let him play. Um, got a hundred, which is great. Sheasel, all those idiots that traded out Sheasel because Sheasel, Sheasels, Sheasels, and Sheasel. Everyone that traded out Sheasel because he's, uh, oh yeah, he's money making stuff. He's not a money making player. He's a keeper. Like, well, he's gonna be a keeper for me, huh? He's gonna be a keeper oh, for me. He's... You know, he had no kickouts. That leads me to the kickouts. Sam May had four. Bowie had three. Zebel had the highest for North with three. Aaron Hall needs to go. He had two. Luke McDonald had two. That's all the kickouts for that game. That's and right. That's very low behind yeah. scoring. Seven apiece. Yes. But no, she, Aaron Hall coming back in. He got 26, kick, 26 <sighs> kicks, 12 marks. 30 touches. Aaron um, Hall, high score. Clearly, it, 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 it just shows that Aaron Hall, Sheasel, and Zebul can all stay in that back line and get 20 points. I mean, when they're points. getting pumped by about uh, 90 points, they can. Well, Aaron There's Hall, a lot of ball in the back line there. Definitely, definitely. Well, um... Yeah, big big Charlie Combin uh, snaps, get his, better, mate. snaps his leg. Sorry for that one. Um, I think Carlton Jones, he hurt his... Did he hurt his hand? What was it? I don't care about Carlton Jones. No, who cares? Yeah. Well, there's two outs at least and a Tom Powell. So there's three outs at least. Um, Why? Who do you think's coming in that's so good? Oh, LDU. Oh, uh, LDU. Will you Phillips. Saw, you got rid of LDU, didn't you? I had to. I was. I was. I had to get rid of him. Um, so I bought in Will Day, Cornelio, and Seamus. For, L- Sheamus. For, for LDU, and who else was there, Jules? Um, Wilmont and Ian yeah, Phillips. So two North idiots out to bring in some GWS superstars. 
That's fair enough, Matty. Now, All right, next game, Joel. Let's talk about the Cup of Blues and the West Coast Eagles. Da, 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 da. Now, this is another pumping on the other side of the channel Joel's that I was thinking between. Cripper, 81% CBAs, 94. Check this out. Listen to what I'm saying. 94% CBAs to Hewitt. I'm telling you. That's huge. That's huge. We had a conversation. But you off can't, but you can't because... Check this out. Check out everything else. Peter Nett, another 90 in a row. I really like him because that 13, when he went off injured, he's going to make a lot of money. His break even is in the minuses, I think, for Peter Nett. Oh, yeah. uh, if you want to do a quick cheeky Sam trade. De- and Sam DeConin got concussed in the second, so I don't think he'll be a back anytime soon. I don't soon. think they want him back. Uh, Chera got 23, so he l- lost 50-ish percent CBAs. Sam Walsh lost about 60% CBAs. We got 26%. And Matt Kennedy, 32, and Doherty, 32. With all these numbers, Matty, I'm scared to... If you're looking at a Hewitt as a potential cheapie with 94% CBAs, it easily can go back to Kennedy, to well, Doherty, Kennedy was, okay, so to let's Walsh, talk, let's talk about to Chera. So Kennedy was a sub. So, so so whatever the time that he played on, he just started in the midfield. Yeah, exactly. Second of all, um, Walsh is not really a midfielder. He's a wingman and he always plays wingman and he gets those Well, not always because last week he had 83% yes, he did, CBAs. He did. Yes, but last week there were some injuries that weren't in, I'm pretty sure. No? Yes, Jordy, stare, blank, look. Who, okay, who well, are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just trying to... Well, no, he got 83% in the midfield. And So who else was in the midfield last week that wasn't in there this week? So look, they had, look Hewitt was playing last week. He got 67%. Okay. So... But anyway, Hewitt's 480000 I think he's a really good price. He has um, a good price. Um, who else was there? Obviously, Paddy Cripps. Paddy Cripps. 153. Six kicks and 27. Hell, he got 23 contested. Neil got more than him. Um, by one. By one. Uh, so It's got to be a record. It's got to be a record. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's been a record. This never us, happens. But it's Ch- almost happened. Charlie Kern, 186. Why isn't he in the most traded pick players? That's pretty funny. Um, nine goals, three behinds, Jaws. Wow. No tackles. His defensive no, work. He, every time he marked it, he... Handball at one six. 14 marks, 15 kicks. Did you know that's killing me that I didn't get that stupid Hawkins three weeks ago? Oh, like I God. brought up on the potty. We were too scared to do it. We, I was like, so scared. We say not what we do. No one's going to get a $450,000 Hawkins this early in the season. Like, done. to play it as a pre should have done it, champ. It would have, it would have been swimming in extra cash Do- and points. Doherty had 70-odd percent in the back line and 30-odd percent in the midfield. Um, 24 touches. Still don't think his role's there. It's only because... He got 32% in the CBAs. I like him better as just a defender doing that, yeah. but it looks like it's going to be Saad. Saad was subbed out, but, you know... Still done very well, Saad. 25 touches, 96 super coach points. Chin Trotter, boys that played him. George, you played him on the field? Oh, yeah. You did you consider it? Yes, you did. You messaged me. I did. But yeah. I actually made a poll on Twitter, and everyone thought I should play Brady Galea, but I went for Chin Trotter anyway. It's because you listened to me. And it paid off in dividends, George. 17 touches. Don't roll your eyes if you did. I did. You did. Because you actually said, George, it's got it right here. Chin Trotter or... Yeah, Brady I just wanted one of your votes to, con- to count to the other 25 uh, I had. Okay. You're not the deciding factor, man. Clearly I am. Ali Hollands, <laughs> 60 super coach. Uh, clearly I am, George. Of course, man. Um, Ali Hollands, is his time to go or he still can hold him? No, I like Hollands. You can keep him for a bit longer. He got a 60, didn't he? Yeah, something like that. He did get a 60. Nothing really relevant there. West Coast. Now Eagles. the CBAs for West Coast. Uh, 94% to Bailey Williams. 87 to Tim Kelly. 52 to Gimby. And 58 to Gaff. That guy messaged me about, oh, yeah, going to get Gaff. Yeah, good on you, champ. He got like 40 or something. So um, 32% to O'Neill. And oh, a lot of other duds that I'm not going to read. Go no, some high percentage this in this game. I don't want to touch any West Coast players. I don't care who they are. Right. Every West Coast player needs to go. Yeah. Oscar Allen has made his money, got a 51. So he's made enough money to give you an upgrade um, or a downgrade to get an upgrade somewhere else. Yep. Let's have a look how much money he made for everybody. So seven 100 rounds, one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. That's more than a lot of rookies. Gee, should have, should have listened. Should have, could have, would have. Should have, could have, would have. Matt Teeves. So, and George should have got him, but we didn't. Made one hundred seventy-three thousand dollars. That's what we want. Uh, so on for Joe. Give me George. Is it time to go? Everyone, yes. Give me out unless you need to give it to someone else more expensive. So there should be no West Coast players. No. Does Ridley need to go? Yeah. He does. Does Setterfield need to go? Does everyone in there to go? No. I think that's got pumped by Geelong. I think we might could be over reaction, especially field, when we look at the CBA. Set field, I'm out. He's out. He's out for me. He's done. He's he's had enough. Had, had enough. Had to. He's said it. We'll talk about that in this. Hearn, eight kickouts. Three to Witherden, three to Saad, two to Duggan, two to McGovern, two to Newman, one to Doherty, and one to Jermaine Jones, Manny. 
I hate West Coast. I don't even want to talk yeah, about them. I don't want to talk about West They're Coast. Done. Give me out, done. No, nah, I don't want to talk about any West Coast. Okay, Let's good. go next game. Yeah, guys, if you want to talk about it, nah, you message Shorty later. Nah, nah, I don't nah, want to talk about them. There's nothing relevant about West Coast. No. Nah. Essendon Jaloo. Uh, Essendon CBAs, we got 75% to Darcy Parrish. We got 68% to Setfield, which is 10% higher than last week. I like it, Matt The lowest and really, really low for Zach Merritt. Unbelievable. 38%, Matty. Why? He's lowest by at least 30% this Why? year. Stupid. Bad coaching. Um, 30, 63% to Draper, 20% to Shield. He's lowest of the season as well. Uh, 35% to Phillips. And because they put the package in there for 80% of the time, package should kick four goals, but Merritt needs to be in the CBAs. More than 38% of the time, I would have thought Matt Deeves. Well, Merritt got 19 touches. It's still at a 91, which is respectable, but still. Yeah, that's what such a, a bad role move. for him. It's such yeah, a bad... Get, Why the... Oh, Nick Martin, uh, Nick Martin looks like the uh, the Aldi Bont. He gets twenty two touches and gets one hundred twenty seven. He did get fourteen contested. Well, just which uh, apparently you know yeah. never happens. In never the well, Nick Martin's becoming a really good player. Jack Stringer did what he did and kicked four goals. As Jordy said, one hundred forty five. Parish still getting those hundred and eights. What thirty eight touches and he still can't break one hundred twenty. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, Ridley, yes, Jules, he was on the Tomahawk. He did a really good job on Tomahawk. Yeah, but, my um, fear is he's going to be playing... He didn't do a good job on Tomahawk at all. No, the second half oh, of okay. it, Because Tomahawk was already at seven goals at three-quarter time, and then... Yeah, yeah so look, I, my worry with Ridley is he's nasty used as a key defender. Lavardi's gone, or Laverde, whatever. No, no, we need going. him back. I think, um, look, with... He's already so cheap, champ. He's 460 or something. Um, I can't get rid of him now. you just got to hold him in. I don't want to. I don't want to hold him. I want to train him for a Sinclair. I want to train for a Stewart. Oh, you do that. Whatever. Okay. Um, you should train for a Dawson. I will trade him for a Dawson after the buyer. Um, You've got the same buy. I'll trade him for a Sinclair after the buyer. Okay. Um, or Sizzly. Uh, set a field. Set a shit. Shit a field. However you want to call it. There's got to be a shit in that word. Um, Chat I'd... 51. It's a low, it's a bad number. I'm not, there's no covering up. With I saw pain. him in the midfield. He was at how many percent? 68. 80? 68. He did nothing. He no tackle pressure. Oh, yeah, okay. He was he was had a really bad game, but he can boot upgrade him to a bond, upgrade him to an Oliver, upgrade him to a Laird. I can't him afford to upgrade him to an Oliver. <coughs> if I downgrade Liam Jones to say 102k rookie that's not even playing, I miss out on Oliver by 700 bucks. So oh, that's sad. It is sad. Yeah. So now I'm going to be getting <laughs> cheaper bargains. <laughs> cheaper bargains. You know, I can get a Crips for a good price. No, champions of the night. I don't want Crips. I like I like the CBAs for Crips. I like the CBAs for Neil because I think them two are not going to be changing. Why at don't all you like ever. Crips? I don't like Crips. The fact I don't like him at his price. I'd rather there's five nine. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I'll lose like, like seventy k more, and I know it's he's a lot of safe. Money. And like you, because Crips just play West Coast. Like that's going to probably be his highest. He got, hun- well. got one hundred thirty three last week, and then he got an eighty the week before. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He's ready. I, I I'm not. He's ready. Oh, you could say the same about Petrarca. I mean, he just went ballistic against a shit team as well. Yes, but his CBAs were not there. But the difference is that CBAs. That Petrarca's a good forward as well. As, and Cripps is 80 odd percent. How many again, George? A lot of CBAs from Cripps. Anyway, back to the shitty Essendon. Will Shitterfield or Will. Leave sh- the goat alone. He's not the goat anymore. He's, he's, he's goat, not the he's, goat. He's goat poo. He's goat poo. Goat That's poo. the best you got. Well. Setterfield produced He's that. a spring water if cured set, salad. He, yeah, he's a, if we're talking about food related, he's a spring... What is it, George? What do you have for lunch? Spring water. That's Setterfield, that's Setterfield this week. Kale and spinach. And all the, With a wow. touch of... Apple. Can you say it again? What did you have for lunch? Can we just get into it? No, no, no. no let's, we were talking... Spring water tuna. Spring water tuna. With kale and spinach. With kale and spinach and avocado. Yeah, that's a bit of a... Wow. That's a sprinkle of Setterfield just to give it that zest of shit. Manny, you should right, try anyway. eating a salad once. Yeah, I do eat salads. Um, you do. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, Will Langford. I don't want to talk about Langford. Stop mentioning Langford. All right, let's get to Geelong if you've got no one else to talk to. <laughs> talk Tommy August, Jordy missed up CBA, that. so the Blitzer was 83%. Dangerfield, only 60%, uh, but he scored well. <clears throat> 70% to Tom Atkins, 55% to Tanner Braun coming on as a sub. 45% to Max Holmes, 60% to Tom De Koning, and wow, oh, where did that Bosey get injured on a low score? Oh, Bosey is out uh, living. I don't care about Bosey. No one's really going to have Bosey now. Some obviously, people have Bosey. Well, obviously, he's going to be gone. Radigalia gets his low score for in a month. 
43, it's what he normally does, five touches. 98, he got 100% efficiency, but 98% game you're time. You're getting 100% efficiency when you touch the ball three times. Oh, five. Oh, five. Whatever. Give him a break. Mitch, he could be one of the rise champions. His second game, isn't it? Mitch Ninvit. Sam, I'm not getting a late sub in. Mitch oh, Ninvit. All right, what about Sam Simpson? He got a 58. What he might think? be, because but he's so 160k already, so he's another one. But he kicked two goals. He's done 10 touches. He's get, he's done on ground 75%. I don't mind it. But this has that inflated price that really, like, if I get him, like, I can't really downgrade no. anyone at all. What's or this? Upgrade. So Tanner Braun comes on with sixty percent game time. Where was this at the start of the year? He gets eleven touches from two goals, and he actually uh, got a good amount of CBAs for the time he was playing, almost like completely in the midfield. Good for him. And they put Dangerfield sixty four percent time on ground, well, very they, low. They Dangerfield was here's my boy, the plus one Tom Stewart. He Twin literally depth. had no opponent. I oh, know. I loved it. He was just next to Radigalia, and Radig- yeah, it was just great. Radigalia was just. Oh, so, that's so, Albo right into so, me. Radigalia was just. Jam, I don't. I, he got twelve marks, um, just as much as Tommy Hawkins get one hundred and eighty four. Sorry, George, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but besides that, George, if you don't have uh, Tom Stewart, who else are you going to really get? From Hawkins. Yes, well, Hawkins is now out of grasp by a lot. When Jordy really wanted to get Tom Hawkins, Jam, how much was it? Did you think? Uh, it was 400. He's 544 right now. Yeah, he's, he's already like, made me 150k. He, 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 and made, that's, he just got that 180, so he's going to so be. So you wanted to get him in here when he got his first 150. I think I wanted when he got his 140. I mean, he's 100, 104. 104. Well, he was 412,000 then. So if you picked up Tom Hawkins, what a super coach master you are. Um, I'm not. 400, you're not, George. 412 all the way. Three weeks later, he's, uh, he's made $132,000. He's already made like what a rookie would make, and look if he just gets some a couple of tons in a row, he's going to make another sixty k. His next break evens is thirty seven and thirty nine. So if he gets one hundred and six against Adelaide, which he potentially could, and one hundred and fifteen against Richmond, oh, Richmond is so dead. So he's going to. Anyway, you can't. You then cry he's got three medals. Hawkins, ah, draws. Sad, sad things for Hawkins. Who else do you want to talk about here? No one. I else. just want to talk about some kickings. Oh. If. Oh, I hate to see all the people. Ridley had five. So if he didn't have five kickouts, he probably would have had like about, uh, you know, 12 possessions. Tom Stewart had four kickouts. Uh, Redmond had three. McGrath had two. Hind had one. Zerk Thatcher had one. Duncan had one. And Isaac Smith had one. Don't forget about Zach Guthrie having one. Oh, don't forget about that one. All right, let's move it to the shittest game of the round that I didn't watch. Oh, Richmond and... Oh. Did you, did you, I didn't watch a good scene because I was too busy watching Tom Stewart still in those contested marks. Uh, I did watch a bit of this because it, it was for my multi and uh, it done good. So. It did, yeah. You showed me with well on draws on his multi, but I did not see a game of this draws. Talk now, this is what I knew about. So I'm going to do some kickouts first because I re- recognized that while I stopped because while I was getting really high kickouts, then you move on to the wing. And I said this in the last potty if you remember. And I liked how, you know, I, even though he scored his highest score of the year, Wella. I didn't think, I, I hated him more because his role was as a wingman now. And Will Power was starting to take all the kickouts. So the kickouts now, Will Power got eight. Wait, wait. Short got two. Atkins got two. Miller, Young, Rioli, and Broad, Ben Long, McPherson all had one. Now, on that wing role, what did Weller score, Manny? Weller scored 90. With how many touches? Where is that stupid Weller? There he is. Well, I got touches. 18 touches with 90 super coach, so 67 dream team. So clearly everything was efficient, which it was 83%. Now, what about that Powell, Maddie? Champ, how much is Will Powell, by the way? He's too much. He's too much. He got 143 super coach, 23 kicks, 13 marks, five handballs. Yeah. Noah Anderson. 28 t- touches. That's Noah Anderson. Oh, Chuck Miller would have flourished in this game. Um, Noah Anderson got 144. Fuck. Look at that. Did he even get good CBA? So I Noah, don't think and, Noah and Anderson did. He got nine clearances, so I would imagine yes. I don't think so. Braille got eight clearances, and Lucky Weller got eight clear. I had so much. Wits got eight clearances, yeah. Money on Rao just getting over his, on his over an individual over because it was so low, it was like twenty one, yeah. and I think that was just money for days. Now let me read some CBAs. Eighty six percent to Rao. That's high Did as. Did you go kickings first? Yes. Okay. Eighty one percent to Wits. Uh, Sixty seven only to Noah Anderson, which is on par with his loss of the season. Uh, 71% to David Swallow, his highest for the season. So it looks like David Swallow is going to be the one to replace um, Tookie. Uh, they also had an increase for Fiorini. Well, actually, a decrease for Fiorini. He had 14%. He I would had... have thought Davies would have came up a bit. So Fiorini had 44 last week. 
Uh, now he's down to 14%. So he lost 30%. Mm. Alex Davies had 29%. He obviously hasn't played since round one. Uh, Mario Chol had 19 helping out in the ruck. Uh, Lockie Weller was in the midfield a little bit for 24%, and Bailey Humphreys had 10%. So that's really disgusting. I don't like anyone to be Took Miller's replacement. I'm just going to wait for the big Tookie to come back. Uh, not touch any Gold Coast player, Matty. Mm, well, Zaffarini, could it be a sign? No. no? Okay. He had 14% CBAs. 14% CBAs, all right, fair enough. Now, um, Tim Taranto. Tim Taranto. 90% CBAs, Matt Zeeves. Good stuff. Another. That's his highest of the year by far. And he got another 140. He got 144 last week, 140 this week. Good he's, stuff. He's on 117 average. He's looking really good. Do you know how much he is? He's, what, almost close to six now, wouldn't he? He is oh, over six. Oh, is he? He's 603. 603, good, good on you. Remember I had him up there? I already loved him in that midfield role oh, in Richmond. Yeah. Uh, when we're doing the predictions. Jacob Hopper, 71%. Uh, Shy Bolton, 67%. Ivan Soldo, 43% with like less than 60% game time. <laughs> ben Miller, 29%. Ryan Sampson, 29%. Coming down 30% CBAs since uh, Solo came back in. Yeah, he only played it. So it says here, he only played, he switched his position. He was pretty much playing up forward for the first three quarters, but then went to full-time ruck in the last quarter, which is where he got most of his points. Gerald's getting 71. Yeah. You good did. stuff. He kicked good two stuff. goals. So I couldn't believe. It. I didn't even see any of these. I didn't even know Dusty was playing. I didn't know anything you about didn't know this Dusty game. was playing. I didn't. Know, I didn't see this game. Like okay, so you did. You didn't watch the game. You I didn't watch the game. I saw all. I saw was Samson Ryan this morning. Like, what did he actually score seventy one? Like, did wow. you have him on the field? No. Oh, okay. So that's why um, you didn't care. No, I didn't. Um, Jacob Hopper scored a seventy one. Uh, see, so he wasn't. He started very bad. Uh, I needed him over twenty, which you just got at the end. So got on your Hopper. Mm. How many uh, other the people that people that have Liam Baker, he's got a sixty-nine. Guess who had Liam Baker? It was an Antoine. It was Anton. <laughs> Sucked in Anton. He was on like forty at half time. He did another for the rest of the game. He's so shit. What'd you get him for? Um, now that's Shorts. Matty, and... everyone jumped on Baker because Yeah, he... but now Shorts doing that Batman yeah, role. Sure and is. he's killing he's all the Baker good. scores because he's got twenty five kicks, eleven marks, and seven handles. Why do you always go kicks, then marks, then handles? This can you go kicks, the handles? Then marks? No, I'll because do it. It doesn't make sense. Like people are trying to. If you can hear what I'm saying, twenty-five marks, eleven kicks, a two hand. Work it out. You can yeah, thirty-two touches and eleven marks. Thank um, you. That's a, that's way better. Yeah, oh, champ. I don't tell you how to read those kicking. You, you sometimes, yeah. sometimes. Uh, but that's that, Jaws. So Taranto doing the things. Hopper, hold hold a trade. Let's talk about it real quick. Oh, that's a hold. It's a hold for sure. That's the one. Now, Ben, you know Ben King has actually got the like, third lowest break even? That's his second 100 in the row. Wow, Ben King. Time to make some money. Is it time to no, trade it is. in? No, he's got Melbourne. Is it time to... Okay, Stephen May stop Ben King, Jaws. Ben King's coming to Collingwood. Ben King has got two 100s in a row, and he's one of the lowest break evens in Supercoach. He's already made 99. I know, but he's now he's got two 100s, and he's going to get rid of a pretty shit number. Good idea, Ben another King. Shit one. I don't think anyone would have kept him for this I don't think one. anyone wants Ben King for that long at that price, Matty. No, Jules, I don't think so, and I think it's time to speak about the bestest game of the round. That was so... We did... Okay, oh, That was better than Anzac Day. No, man. That was better than Anzac Day for me. That was like more no, nerve wracking. No. Oh, this you're one. Le- you're leading like 20, for, you led for 21 seconds of the game. That's. I don't think we deserve to win whatsoever. Like, everything was telling us that we're not going to win this game. The umpires, and I don't really have that type of dickhead that's going to say, oh, the umpires they just fucking did it. But, like, you know, Ash Johnson, he gets his head pulled like that in the goal square, no free kick. That got, that, that, I was actually only Na- cheering Dawson. Na- Na- <laughs> Nathan Murphy gets concussed and it's play on. He's like blood nose. I know, yeah. blood nose and just, you know, dreaming. And Dugowie's trying to push it away from Nathan Murphy and the, um, and the trainer's taking him off and it's deliberate. All in the last quarter of dying moments, I thought, we can't win this. That was deliberate, though, because he's the, deliberately trying to push it. I know he was, for safety of his teammates. Doesn't anyway. matter, it's not in the rules. That's uh, a free kick. And who cares, champ? I don't give a shit because we won anyway. So sucked in Adelaide supporters. <laughs> I'm um, supporter. <laughs> you're a Collingwood supporter, and he's just scared about Dawson's score. But oh, George... his last kick out, which was such a, Oof. it was so Oof. good. How many points? Oh like, man, he got so out. much points, it was ridiculous. Um, Rebound 50, 70 meter oh. kick, effective, so good. Oh, Jay, this game was scaring me a bit because Anton was only down by seven points. <laughs> Fuck you and Anton. But this is not he needs to know about you and Anton's running like he needs, he needs to know because then, George, did you, if you wanted to see a goal of the game, how about my boy Chase Jones kicks two? Do you know, at one stage, I don't know if you, you probably were watching the whole game, oh, but there was a stage where. Chase Jones had, had the last four scoring shots oh, in no. the game. Yeah. A goal, a point, a goal, yeah. and a point. Uh, 
Chase Jones making me some money, 130, second highest. What a way to end the podcast on Chase Jones. Huh? It's what a what a way to end the podcast. Oh no, Chase Jones, my boy that I trade on. Jordy was giving me shit, made a thumbnail about how shitty he was last week. Champ, you need to make a thumbnail about Chase Jones. I already made one. Is it Chase Jones on there? Of course. Oh, do you want me to put him on there? I can if you want. Yes, you're gonna see Chase Jones. So when you rewatch this replay, Chase Jones better be there. Rory Laird. I was laughing. I actually messaged Jordy and your brother Jamie. Oh, Roy Laird got subbed. You know what? I was actually happy when he got subbed off because I had him multi. Because I had him under 29. I got that multi And then he came yeah. on and he only got one tackle and one position. And that was it. So, so it was he got almost, under 29 anyway. When, he, when we thought he was going to get subbed, there was confusion with Saligo and Laird. And Laird. Well, the like, commentators on TV was like, yeah, Rory Laird's in subs. Yeah. And then everyone on Twitter's like, yeah, Rory Laird's Rory in Laird. subs. And then you, you video him and Rory Laird's just sitting, just, just sitting there like that. He's not wearing anything. No, no, no ice on the cuff. I'm like, oh, this could be trouble. Um, but no, nah, he didn't even do anything because he's on 99 when he got, mm. and he ended up on 100, which they was only got So that time when they activated the sub, I think there was like seven minutes left or something. I know, he got nothing. He literally got one touch and one tackle. That was perfect for Collingwood. Per- and for my multi. Yeah, and for the multi also. Let's not forget, George. Because you know what? Lewis got a calf injury. He's going to get that under. Oh, or he's getting oh, yeah. off. But well, lucky. Us more, for more sports bet too. Yeah, <laughs> we, we got some good ones. We won a nice so one too on that one. Um, so Rory Laird, Chase Jones and Dawson, the relevant players all getting 100, 130 and 150. Chords, did you like anything else? Is it I time? like some CBAs. Let's talk about the CBAs. Um, Riley O'Brien, 89. So Rory Laird had 74%, which is pretty low, but thereabouts of what he's been scoring, Matty. Uh, Dawson has 74%, his lowest in the three weeks. Uh, Rochelle, cut down by at least, what is that, Matty? About, Sucked in, Docky. About 40 to 50% CBAs he... uh, cut down, Rochelle, because that went into Keys, which had 63%, which had ironically... Is the exact the same amount Dacos had? Yeah. So uh, Rory Sloan thirty seven, Jake Saligo thirty two percent, and yeah, as I said, Rochelle. So pretty much, Keys kept, kept the main midfielders out of the midfield because he was following Dacos all day in the forward and the back yeah. line, wherever it was. Um, back to Rochelle. Rochelle got eighteen touches. He kicked four points. How terrible was Adelaide kicking a goal? It was ridiculous. It was pretty terrible. Um, I loved it, and that's why I don't think we deserve to to win at all. But that's what Collingwood. I just don't get how Collingwood. A team like as a fan, when you're yelling at the TV and saying oh, it's a fucking free kick, it's this and that. yelling at the TV. I don't do I, that anymore. Yeah, oh no, I definitely do it. Oh, sometimes um, I do. I'm like, fucking get the ball, Dawson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do a target, you idiot? <laughs> get the ball, Dawson. But like to, for, for the Magpies being in the game and getting so frustrated to keep their cool and still win. Just love it. All right. Um, uh, CBAs for Collingwood. Uh, uh, that get <laughs> now, with Pendlebury out, oh, I thought they, these some Collingwood midfielders going to have a higher kind of, you know, possessions than normal. I thought Tom Mitchell would be one of them. That's always in my multi. So 84% to the goalie. He had the highest amount of CBAs and did not do, score very well. But he did get 24 touches, which was in the multi. Yeah, he so got, He got 12 clangers and six free kicks against. That's really good if you are if don't have him in the coach. And you want him, yeah. But uh, 68% to Tom Mitchell. Uh, he stayed about the same from last week. Mm-hmm. 16% of Crisp. He went down by about 40%. 58% to Taylor Adams uh, coming back from that uh, suspension. 84% to Billy Frampton in the ruck. And 63% the highest for the season for Nick Dacos. Maddie, there's also a couple of 5%ers for Elliot's da- Josh Dacos's and Ash Johnson's. Well, there you go, George Bold. Collingwood... Um... Wow, how about that Noble? I hated him up until that last kick. Oh, he fucking flipped it. And he'd done so many bad things before. He that. did so many bad things and like, oh, just that goal kept him in the in the team for another week and I hated it. Oh, um Tom damn. Mitchell doing Tom Mitchell things. Twenty nine touches on the What did he get? 106. I thought right. you know, I think could have got better. Um still sorry, I'm still doing the kicks the winning point of the game. I don't know, no one cares. Um Dacos getting the lowest score, George. Do you think it, it's he's still got twenty seven touches? Is he still a safe captain option, do you think? Well, Ben Keyes is fit enough to follow him around, same build. I don't think there's many teams that can keep Who's up. Who's Collingwood playing next week, do you know? Collingwood will be playing Sydney, so um, Sydney looked terrible. They've got a lot of good uh, kind of... Four line players. Like, you know, Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark is He more, likes tagging kind of defenders. But he, does he, or is he more of a... Yeah, he, he doesn't he, get CBA, so... Ryan Clark could upset Could be Dacos. Callum Mills. Okay, oh, I don't mind Callum Mills on Dacos. I would. Um, it's just a bit risky. Well, 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 you know, well, Callum, well, Dacos plays at the back line, so it's going to be like players like Papley and Gould. And, but, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Because so Ryan, Ryan Clark is probably the only versatile one that will probably go on him, and Ryan Clark is known for tagging. But so. I think I can see Mules going to Dacos in the midfield. Possibly. But I think that'll be a head-to-head. 
I don't think they'll go no. head to head. They're going to want to shut him down. Well, it depends yeah. depends on how he does. Obviously, obviously they moved him into the midfield because they realised Ben Keys was smothering him like a blanket. Um, so just McRae's not stupid. He knows where to play him in the right moments. Um, well, not in this game he didn't because he got 72. But it was a wet, sloppy game and oh, who knows. Was it wet? It didn't look wet then. No. Um, anyway, did we talk about Chase Jones? Because I feel like we need no, to talk about talk Chase about Jones. you talk about more if you want. No, Chase Jones, fight a gun. Jules, you going to get him in? He's a premium. <laughs> Just joking, Chad. Uh, it's going to be a weekly Chase Jones update, guys. And oh. I hope he gets another 50. Jeff, you might be out of my team before he gets a 50. Just no, so it I could just... be next week. It could be next week. Oh, Rory Laird. Now, I'm just glad you played Rory. I don't I didn't expect huge from you, but getting 100 is nice. I wanted a bit more, but, you know. Well, if it was either that or getting your Oscar Baker's 69s, whatever he got. 69. So, 31 points. Better. I'm happy to take that. And, yeah, there's not much in Adelaide, Maddie. You want Dawson, Maddie? When, oh, you're going to get that Dawson. Champ, he is way too much money for me to afford him. So I'm just waiting for another 70. Look, he's, he's yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you're going to use a complicated process. Wait for another 70. Yeah, That's what you're going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Now, mind. everyone said, oh, yeah, Dacos still got 27, uh, 27 touches. He's not like, you know, he didn't play that good. And then he's like, oh, yeah, well, he got 15 from kickouts. No, he didn't. He only got five from kickouts. And Darcy Moore got um, even, I think Darcy Moore got more kickouts than he did. So Darcy Moore had seven kickouts and Dacos had five. Dawson had four, which is only one less than Dacos. Uh, Malira had four. Maynard had four. Brody Smith four. And McElhaney won. Matty's a McElhaney watch. Is it his time to go? What did he get? He got a 51, and it's definitely his time to go. Yeah, I think McElhaney has made his Macca money. Macca money. And, and Jules, it's going to be a big week of talking. Now, Matty. Now, Matty. Now, Matty. Yes, Jules. Yes, Jules. Are we going to try and do a live video this Thursday? Because, you know, it's good to be in the live premiere, which we're doing. But it's even better to be live and be able to say some of these I things. I think out we there. should do a live, and I just can't wait for all those same questions. I want more of those gaff questions. That guy asked me about gaff. He's like, oh, yeah, but I'm going to get him. They're going to uh, trade him at his live. Ask me more about gaff now. Okay, so there's, there's a, there's a, on our live chat um, when we release this, um, we're going to have a lot of the Bruce. Oh, I love the Bruce. The Bruce. The Bruce. The Bruce. We're going to have a lot of Engos. I love Engos uh, making... Better fun. be fucking some Engos in there. Yeah, Engos better be in there because he loves making... And he's the only one that really notices how distressed I am when you read out those kick-ins and series. But now... Yeah, like, everyone that. notices how distressed you are, but everyone knows that you're an idiot. Yes. Uh, well, <laughs> yes. We're cousins. That's what we do. It's in our blood. You're a big fucking moron. Um, you're oh, a, oh, oh, oh. The champ, Chase Jones. Yeah. When are you going to get Tom Stewart? I hate him, you have, you have so much, get, I don't want him. You need to get him. Well, Dawson's better than Tom Stewart. No, no, but the buys, champ. You need to get him before the buys. I'll get him after, like, get I'll him. get him after the first buy. You need to get him before the buys. I'll get him, why? Like, why can't I just wait one week? And Because I'm getting, bringing in other players anyway. Fuck just, Tom just, Stewart. Tom I hate him. him. He's so goddamn, he's so juicy. <sighs> and now he's got that big radical ear just helping him out. <laughs> so he's loose. Stupid, I've started with him. I uh, sold half my team to get him. He and he got that. me a 13 on field and a trade. That's pretty funny. He only gave like, he, only, he ruined my season. I've been in the top 1,000. He was, was only up for a week. And that, was, <laughs> that was the funniest thing about him. I'm like, oh, so that's funny. the type of guy that's you can set funny. your watch to. Um, anyway, we love misery for everyone else. Hope everyone else had a great score like me and Geordie. Um, yeah. But if you didn't... <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, good luck for next week. I'm sorry you have to put up with him, guys. I really do hope you do good. Yeah, uh, Luke Macapaca is in. Is now I'm ranked 104 or something. Wow, that's my boy Luke. Get Luke. up there, Luke. Get in those Luke. Herald Sun articles. Mention all the great advice that he gives that given about yeah. Chase Jones. And um, Well, that's what we do. Let's have a look at our guys, Jules. Uh, let's have a look at our lead. Wait, maybe we should do this for the next video. We're going to do it on the next video because I'm hungry and I need to pick up my next I, I can whip you up a salad. You can whip me up and can you just tell everyone again if you're late in, Jordy? No one eating. cares about the salad I ate. I think Why people, do you care so much I about it? I think people need to give you shit, Jordy. Why would they give me shit We're coming to a pub. How unprofessional is it? You don't go to your job and, oh yeah, what, yeah, what would you like? What would you like? What would you? What, what, what would you like to? Uh, do you want some clothes? What, I'm trying to sell you something here. Man, we've got different jobs. I literally eat on the on the road, so I, I eat while we're in working. front of all of our clientele right here, and we we're professional enough to wear this to try not to swear. And he Jordy's picking Maddie. himself out with the shittest, stinkiest, tunery smell in this small confined room. You were room. talking about unprofessional, did you? No, no, no. We're There's not, a man of fifty. There's a man of fifty. I have to edit out that you didn't want me to post. Because of your unprofessionalism, how about that? You know what I'm talking about? Am I saying unprofessionalism? Should I say that now? Okay, cool. Now, like, guys, we're basically. Guess what it is? 
Sei igual a ser. Que sorriso.